I want you to know around this time, your intuition is going to be spot on. There's going to be things that are going to occur and you're going to at first doubt yourself, but then you're going to look back at the times when you did that and you um, didn't have faith in your gifts, aka your intuition. And your intuition turned out in those situations to be right. And you're like, damn, I should have trusted myself. You know, you should, you had those, those feelings. You know what I'm saying? You know those feelings. Like, darn, I was right. You know what I mean? We all have those moments as spiritual people like, shit, I was right about that motherfucker. Or I was right about this situation. So during this time, we're going to be more confident. We still might have those milliseconds of a moment where we're like, is this true? Is this the right message? But then you're going to, automatically step out of that and remove yourself from that energy and be like, no, I'm right. That person is an opportunist. That situation was unsafe for me. Now, this is only if you are currently doing the work and you're not in a state of frantic disposition. Thank you, Spirit. I never even used that phrase before. You're not in a phrase of frantic disposition. Your throat chakra is not blocked by any emotional pain from the past. And you're able to speak freely and not speak out of fear or worry or projection sent from others. Whether that projection be like, for example, oh, well, come here. You'll be safe with me. Even those things is like someone's doubting your ability to judge a situation that also is a form of witchcraft. It's called projection. Someone putting fears onto you. That is witchcraft. <laughs> but the people who think you have to be in the, in the kitchen with a pot and stirring it for 10 hours, like, that's no, that's not witchcraft. <laughs> that's the old school way. Now they can call you up and say something to you and you'd be like, oh, well, I'm going to change my whole plans now. The person I was going through is a horrible person. You're right. They are horrible. I'm coming towards you. Then when you go to the, towards that person, you find out some shit with them. You, then you got to go somewhere else. OK, so certain pe certain people's witchcraft towards you will not work because your intuition is stronger. You know better. Spiritually, you know better now. Spiritually, you know what's up. You're not you're not like in a, a state of confusion fog that people like to put on you. OK, the veil is so lifted now that no one can really lie to you. And you know the difference between a genuine smile and a smile that's masquerading as a frown or a grimace. And that's a word. Because some people. Some people are only attracted to what you have to offer spiritually because that shines brighter than any um, gift you may have, any physical gifts. Your spiritual gifts shine brighter. And because of this, people are jealous of that. But you're thinking they're jealous of your of your looks or of your talent. No, 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 no. That's what they're masquerading it as, too. They might act like they're jealous of what you how you dress or how you speak or whatever else they can be jealous of. That's of this world. But what they really are jealous of, what they cannot see yet is your spiritual alliance with the most high. And it's so tight as a bond and that, that cannot be broken that that's what they're jealous of, too, because they want that bond with the most high. And they know that they cannot be around you faking and fronting. So a lot of people run from you. A lot of people run from you. And a lot of people like to play games with you too, mind games with you because they don't believe that your gifts are real or they don't think you are more high ranking than them. Oh yes, that can be a thing too. These people want to test you because they know that you're, you're, you're the shit spiritually, but they want to test you personally. Because they might have gifts too, and they have not been able to nurture, covet, and develop their gifts the way you have because they are around people who influence their 3D behaviors. And when your 3D behaviors are shifted and manipulated, confirmation, you start making wrong decisions in the 5D, the spiritual world. Now, I believe all things are done in moderation. All things are done in balance. So I'm not here judging no one's behaviors, no one's extracurricular activities. But when the scales are not balanced and you're more, you are more comforting and, and dabbling in the 3D world and what they have to offer and not pouring into your spiritual gifts and your spiritual world of the, of your life, of your soul mission, of your testimony, of your mission, then you will be caught up and your gifts will be watered down. And the most high will not give you access to all your gifts or the, 
fullest capacity of your gifts because you're, 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 you're bathing with pigs. You're rolling around in the mud with pigs. And I don't mean those people, but if you are, that's your business. <laughs> but you know what I mean? People, pigs means people who are not doing the right thing. Pigs bathe in mud and dirt in their own waste. And when you do that, hang around 3D people who want to use you for your gifts, want to play mind games with you, want to meet you and then try to test your your um your ability to read them and then you wind up putting them in their place and they mad. Oh, you thought you were going to get over on me? Oh, you thought you were going to play games with the, the collective? Oh, you couldn't have thought that, boo. You couldn't have thought that. So I'm, I'm going to show you. We're going to show you. Collective, we're going to show them. Because since they thought they can play games, get one over on us. We're going to show them the art of detachment and letting them know that, baby, we don't give a F about your friendship. We didn't, if we can cut off our whole entire family collective, what makes these people think that we give a F about their friendship and what the, the little crumbs they can offer us? Bread crumbing. Oh, yes. This is how I'm going to end it. A lot of these people in the 3D world who are spiritual, but um, who, who want to act like they're spiritual. Let's say that they want to act like they're spiritual, but they really just be breadcrumbing you because they want to get as much knowledge from you as possible. And they can't do that being genuine because they're not at that, that level yet. They're not at that level yet. So what they want to do is they want to breadcrumb you. But baby, <laughs> baby, collective, they ain't hit, get the memo yet, collective. We are the whole entire bakery factory. We are the loaf. We are the table. We are the place setting. So them coming to you, trying to play mind games with you, trying to breadcrumb you, wherever it may be. These are all tests. You are the bakery. You are the factory. You make the bread. You, you put the bread in the oven. You are the oven. You are everything. And they wish, they only wish that they can be what you are. This is why they try to test you with the breadcrumbing and, you know, the inconsistent communication and acting like they're not interested. A lot of this comes from also the people that they're, that they're around. And a lot of times people, when they meet spiritual people and they like them and they might not meet up to the social standards of the people they be around socially and their profession or their job, they will try to show you to their friends through social media, through pictures, do whatever you do. And if their friends don't quote unquote approve or they don't get a, a immediate thumbs up from their friends, they will date or be associated with people, not even dating, it's platonic as well. They will be associated with certain people according to what their friends' reactions are. And sometimes their friends' reactions are a direct effect of their unhealed energy. So they don't want their friends to be around someone great and somewhere, someone potentially amazing because they can't even be around that person without the, the demons being um, festered up and being um, bothered. So, of course, they don't want their friends going around that because then their friends will change and their friends will be around them. So it's a chain reaction with these people and these karmics. So just be aware that you are the bread. <laughs> you are not needing the breadcrumbs from these people who came and make a loaf if they even tried. So just stay focused and know that you are enough. You are sufficient and your intuition is on 100.